Hello everyone. In previous video, we did chapter 4, properties of an element. Under that few basic part we have completed. Now this is part 2. Here we will be learning about the properties of various groups of periodic element. So first one we are looking at group 1. So these are the elements of group 1. It is continuation down. But we are checking for three elements only. This Li stands for lithium, which you have done before also. And A for sodium and K for potassium. Its atomic number is 3 and A 11 and K 19. So when we check their properties, down the group, its melting point is decreasing. If you see here, lithium, its melting point in degree Celsius is 180. Whereas sodium it has 98 degrees Celsius and potassium 63 degrees Celsius. So remember the first property is in group 1 when the element goes down its melting point decreases. Similar as the boiling point also decreases. So now we will be comparing here the structure of group 1 element. In before we did for melting and boiling point alone. Here we will be comparing its atomic structures also. This is for lithium, sodium and potassium, group 1 element. So if you check here, this is a nucleus where proton and neutrons remain, which we have done in previous video. And this is the first shell, we call it K. This is second shell, this is L. We usually denote it with K, L, M and N. Four orbit which revolves around the nucleus of any atomic structures. Now here for lithium, in the first shell there is two electron and in the second there is one. So two plus one, three and its atomic number is also three. So whatever is the atomic number, that much electrons will be revolving around but following a certain pattern. Now here if you see for Na, nucleus, two electrons in the first orbit, second there are eight and in the third one. Here two electron, eight in the second third in the 8 and in the fourth one. So if we check this is following 2 and 1, this 2, 8 and 1, this 2, 8, 8, 1 basically. And everywhere if you see 1, 1 electrons are extra in the last shell, each one of them. So group 1 element always follows the last electron always remains one extra. We call it valence electron also. Valence electron and this valence electron even determines how it reacts with other element one element extra means it's it, it, it has one combining capacity with other so that combining capacity we even call it valency so this valence valence electrons you have to remember and how to do this distinguishing between different electrons in key element structure which we'll be doing again here so this is electronic configuration. Here, the one which you have just done before for a group 1 element, that K element we will be doing here again. Basically, for each one, here we are learning till element 20 only, till calcium from hydrogen. It follows 2888 8, 8 rule. We call it octet rule also. It means in K electrons, you, you can occupy till 2 electrons. And in L, you can occupy till 8. M contains till 8. N contains till 8. But usually, it follows 2 n square rule. K is first element, first shell, sorry. In N, we will be keeping 1. 1 square is 1, 1 into 2, 2. It means only 2 electrons can occupy in first shell. L is for second shell. So here it will be 2. 2 square 4 into 2, 8. M is third. So it will be 3 square. 3 square 9 into 2, 18. N, 4. 4 square 16 into 2, 32. Basically these are the total element that can occupy in each shell. But for till 20 will be following 2888 rule. Now what we did for lithium. Lithium atomic number was 3 before when we checked. Now 3 out of 3 electrons in K we can keep only 2. 
So one extra that goes to L. So two and one, three. That is how it was done for lithium. Similarly, if we do for sodium, its atomic number was before when we check eleven. So when we do for it, K we can keep two electrons only. Now L we can keep eight only. So eight plus two ten. One again is extra that will go to the third element, third cell. So two eight one. Similarly, if you do for potassium, its atomic number was 19 when you checked before. So same rule if you do here, K2, L8, M8, 8, 8, 2 will give you 18. One more extra will go to N. So like that, each one extra element when you check in the last, one one is there. So this shows the atomic structure of group 1 element is similar but their 1-1 one, one shell is increasing each, in each one of them where valency or the valence electron or the last electron remain the same. Now this is halogen, we call it group 7 element, we call them halogen. And in halogen if you see there is F, Cl, Br, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and it goes on this, we will be comparing these three first. Fluorine atomic number is 9, chlorine 17, bromine 35 and similarly the way we have done before K element structure if you do, for 9 K there will be 2 and remaining is 7, it will go to second shell, that's why 7 plus 2 9 because still 8 you can go in second shell, 17 when you do chlorine 2, 8 and then 7, 8 plus 2 10 plus 7 17 following the same rule. Bromine, if you check here, 35, it is following the 2 and square rule, which I have told you before. Till calcium, it follows octet rule. After that, it will follow 2 and square rule. If you check here, 2, 8, 18, 7. So here also, if you check, last valence electron is remaining same, 7, 7, 7. And if you check its melting point, minus 220, 101, minus 7. So if you see it is increasing, so melting point of halogen or group 7 element increases down the group. In group 1 it was decreasing. Now do not get confused, negative values are this one though it's smaller than the upper value but since it's negative so it's increasing. Here also same thing, boiling point is also increasing. Now one thing comes up here, why do we give the name halogen for group 7? Basically. Halogens, this element, if it reacts with metals, then it gives salt. That's why we call them halogen. For example, Cl is chlorine, halogen, and Na is element, uh, first group 1 element, we call it metal. So if you react Na and Cl, you'll be getting NaCl. And this is a salt. It doesn't have charge, which we'll be doing in later in next other videos also. So since it forms the salt, that's why we call it halogen. This question is also out there, which you can write now. Here when we compare structure of halogen, like before, this is fluorine, this is chlorine. And same feeling of electrons when you do fluorine, its atomic number is 9, so it means 9 electrons are there. First shell you have completed with 2, and next remaining is 7. Here also same thing, first 2 electrons, second 8 and remaining 7 in the third, 2, 8, 7, 2, 7. So here also if you take last shell is containing 7 electrons, here also 7 electrons. So this is how you saw the structure of halogens. Always remember halogen contains 7 electrons in the last shell. Now this also let you know that 7 means in order, if you see octet rule is 2, 8, 8, 8. So, when do they satisfy electron? If in case there were 8 electrons, it would be satisfied. It will not be needing other electron or it will not be giving away its electron. So from there you can understand it is in need of one electron more. If one more was there, it could have been 8. In that case, its valency also becomes 1. But since it is receiving, it needs to receive, it will be 1 negative. In before group 1, its last shell was containing 1 for lithium. Since 1 is there, it can give away that 1 electron and be satisfied with this 2. 
So that means since it's giving away, its valency will be one positive. So that is how we determine valency as a concept I am explaining it to you. It is not necessary that you have to memorize everything here. You understand till structures how do we make for halogens. Now this is the last topic of this chapter, group 8 elements and we call them noble gases. So three you have done before, group 1 element, basically they were metals, second group 7 element we call them halogen and this is group 8 we call them noble gases. Here if you check HE stands for helium and E neon AR argon and its atomic number is 2 for helium, 10 neon and 18 per argon. Electronic configuration like before when we did KLM, here it will be only 2 electron, 2, 10, first 2 out of 10, 2 gone, 8 left will be in L shell. For 18, 2 K, 8 L, 8 plus 2, 8, 10 over, now remaining 8 is in the third shell. So here if you check, clearly isn't it following the satisfaction rule of octet? I gave you 2, 8, 8 rule for K element. Now, for the first cell 2, second cell 8, third cell 8, so they are very much satisfied. So when they are satisfied, they do not react with other element. When we see before, and A plus Cl, we wrote NaCl. Why? Because they are reacting. But here, since the last shell are very much satisfied, they neither take electron from others nor do they give to others. That's why we call them noble gases or even inert gases or inert elements also we call them. Their melting point if you check minus 270, minus 249, minus 189. So if you see here also it is increasing. So for noble gases also its melting point down the group it increases like halogen. Even boiling point also it increases like halogen. Now similarly like before if we compare the atomic structure of group 8 element, this is helium, neon and argon. Helium, there are two electrons. Neon, there is in the first cell 2, second cell contains 8, 2 and 8. Argon, 2, 8, 8. Same rule, like before. K, L, M, N rule. So this is how the structures of group 8 elements look like and they are very much satisfied. Last electron contains for these two 8, 8, for these two satisfying rule. That's why we call them inert gases or noble the way we have said before. By this all the properties of your group 1, 7 and 8 elements is over. So basically what you have learned today is how the group 1 element works. It's melting point, boiling point down the group, whether it increases or decreases for group 7 also, group 8 also. Group 7 we call them halogen and why we call them halogens and how do they react with, how the electronic configuration happens in all three groups and group 8 elements also, why do we call them noble gases, this all we have completed. So including last video and this, this particular chapter 4 is over. I will be give you few assignment and I have even given you in the PPT also, please do those assignments and complete it. Now. I believe this chapter will be even coming for cycle test also, please prepare well for that. Next video will be going either for physics or biology.